You're watching Business Access TV. Business Access. Business Access. Business Access. Business Access. Business Access. You are watching Business Access TV. Business Access TV. Serious. Serious about business. Serious about business. Business Access TV is here at Tradewind Citrus Limited for the official opening and tour of the True Juice newest production facility. I'm your host, Andrew Lady, and of course, I'll have the highlights, so stay with us. I am so pleased to welcome you to the grand opening of our newest production facility. Bugwalk St. Catherine has been the home of Tradewind Citrus for over 20 years. And we're excited to have all of you here to see where the freshest, juiciest, the most delicious juices in Jamaica are made. From our beautiful orchards to your supermarket shelves, we have always prided ourselves on providing the best locally produced premium quality beverages. Today, we celebrate as the True Juice brand takes another step forward. Welcome to Trade with Citrus Limited. It's a real pleasure to have you all here to share with us on this very special occasion, the opening of our new, I would dub it, high-tech beverage processing facility. The complete facility that we are about to show you today was not, did not happen overnight. So I'll briefly share with you some of the journey that led us to where we are today. True Juice has always taken pride in being a locally produced premium quality juice. It started in the early 90s with the first commercially produced freshly squeezed orange juice on the Jamaican market. Our slogan then was, leave the squeeze in to us. We gain the confidence of our consumers by consistently providing them with a genuine, high-quality product that was as good as making it yourself at home. But it also made it more convenient with our very fast-moving lives. The trend continued with the introduction of our sorrel, which tastes just like homemade, but without the rum. Over the years, we have added numerous other flavors, with the emphasis always being on producing a homemade quality, just like Grandma would. We have always taken great pride in creating value locally and reducing the high demand for imports. The latest addition to our chilled juice line is our green, our green vegetable juice. And I must tell you, it is, fills me with pride when I see the vans rolling in every day, filled with callaloo, filled with pap choy, filled with string beans, all from small farmers all over Jamaica. And I must say, we are very proud of this product. And I must say, JC and Mr. Prime Minister, with greater vision and effort, we can feed ourselves and at the same time grow our economy. Agro-processing needs to play a much, much larger role in the future of Jamaica. In making this investment, we also decided to broaden the range of products that we could make. So our processing equipment, that is the pasteurizer, etc., is not restricted to juice alone. It can produce a wide range of beverages, including dairy products. The new investments did not stop there. To handle all of this increased processing and filling capacity, we also needed to upgrade our blending room. Our previous blending room was very manual, to say the least, and it was definitely our bottleneck, working 24-7 to keep up with the filling. So we have installed a new state-of-the-art blending room that is high speed 
and very automated. The total capital investment over the past three years to complete all the projects mentioned has been just over 1.25 billion Jamaican dollars. That's why my bankers are here today. This level of investment demonstrates our confidence in our brands, in our team, and in our country. It gives me great pleasure to see our new products taking up the shelf space formerly occupied by imports, and it is our goal to displace them all. It is with immense pleasure and pride that I address you today on behalf of the Manufacturers Association of Jamaica and share in this momentous occasion of the newly upgraded Tradewinds Citrus Manufacturing Facilities. Undoubtedly, what is being celebrated today is a hallmark of two ingredients that are certainly common ingredients in everything that these two groups do, with Cinco and Tradewinds, and it is excellence and innovation. Today represents a most significant moment, not only for Tradewinds, but for the national manufacturing ecosystem, demonstrative of an essential cog in Jamaica's pursuit of economic growth and prosperity. The offering to consumers of a wide range of healthy beverages without the need for refrigeration and without the use of preservatives is improvement at its best. What this tells me is that trade winds interests will not be left behind, but will sail with the tides, responding to the ever-growing and changing needs of consumers. Ladies and gentlemen, the potential benefits of this event are far-reaching and underscores a commitment to produce internationally competitive commodities. What is most striking to my mind is that Tradewind's attitude of never settling to be ordinary. It is a spirit of continued advancement and innovation that defines Tradewind's as an extraordinary player in the market. You embody and represent some of the most important principles of the GMA. And I can say without any form of reservations, the GMA is proud of our association with you. You continue to be a trailblazer of brand Jamaica, both locally and internationally. The GMA, as ardent advocates of the Buy Jamaica and Build Jamaica campaign, applauds your effort and dedication and stands before you today declaring that we are heartened and could, could not be more pleased. With the additional shelf life, the export opportunities presented are almost limitless. And my association here is to support you as our preferred export partners. Our ability to produce high quality products that command increasingly increasing demand on one of the most recognizable brands, Brand Jamaica, is an opportunity that we must continue to leverage ceaselessly. Again, the GMA takes great pleasure in offering our heartiest congratulations, and I am certain that the manufacturing sector will continue to benefit from your pioneering initiatives. I look forward to celebrating more ventures such as this video. to be here with Tradewinds Citrus to officially open this new production line. An investment of 1.25 billion Jamaican dollars, which is a significant in investment. And I personally applaud you and your investors and your company for making this decision. Recently, the Bank of Jamaica's quarterly press briefing for January to March 2017, Governor Winter noted that we have entered a new paradigm of economic development. No longer is the economy characterized by a large balance of payment imbalances, 
unstable fiscal deficits, high inflation and high interest rates. Instead, we have broad macroeconomic stability, low inflation, a sustainable current account, and a stable and competitive exchange rate. Falling interest rates and expanding credit to businesses and households. Even though challenges remain, these conditions represent a virtual red carpet for private sector investment. The figures don't lie, and the signs are all around us. We all need our entrepreneurs to see this, understand it, believe it. Believe it will last, and have the faith to start investing or invest even more. We need the private sector to keep on doing what the private sector does best, create more jobs and more sustainable growth. Today, Tradewind Citrus is clearly demonstrating that it believes and has embarked on long-term capital expansion. Currently employing over 700 persons, this number is expected to double. I'm, 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 putting, I'm putting your son on the spot. Clearly, I would like to see it triple. But this number is expected to expand as your product line diversifies and you bring in new technology. Give me the five and four and I triple. Well, it's actually, it's when you do this, you give me the five and four. So in, in doing this, you are a major contributor to the five and four. For growth to take place in any economy, it doesn't take place with the government. It doesn't take place in the public sector. Growth takes place in the private sector. And more so in our economy, growth has to be private sector led. This doesn't mean that the public sector doesn't have a responsibility for growth. The public sector's responsibility for growth rests around certain and wise fiscal policies. Investors need to be able to make long-term decisions and projections on what government will do. Decisions on taxes, decisions on regulations, and decisions on whether or not government is going to support various trade policies. And I believe that my government has given this clear signal for business. We intend to maintain a very wise fiscal policy. We intend to maintain a policy for the expansion of credit and an inclusive financial system. We have been very clear that government will not be a cost on business. The role of government is to reduce its cost on business. And we have started along that track. And we are seeing the results. We are seeing entrepreneurs now far more willing than before to take investment risks. For anyone to take up a billion dollars and invest must have a certain sense of security in the future. Clearly there are risks, but now you are better able to calculate the risk. You are better able to assess the risk. And so the role of government, my government, is to ensure that the environment is such that business people can take calculated risks.
talk to me about Wisinka's involvement in the uh, factory operation here at Tradewind Citrus. Well, it started about three years ago when Wisinka acquired 50% of the company. And uh, both Andrew and myself and one of our other executives sits on the board currently. We have been, we have been intricately involved in the sort of strategizing of innovation, product development, and in moving the company in, in a direction to reach a far wider distribution through Wisinko's um, distribution infrastructure. All right, so talk to me a little bit about um, what the distribution process has been like so far. The distribution process has been twofold. Tradewinds has maintained the distribution of the chilled products and Wisinko handles all the distribution, the merchandising and the selling of all the ambient beverages. So for all the Tetra Pak products and the exports, we handle that distribution. What do you think about the facility here that you've seen today? Well, I mean, we're really excited to be partnered with Tradewinds. Wisinko has, as you know, the, uh, the, the leading uh, portfolio of beverages in the country. And I think the rounding off of this portfolio of now Tetra Pak products and the, and the expansion of Tradewinds into Tetra Pak production has given us a full portfolio that is, it really makes us um, much stronger in the market from a, from a portfolio management point of view. Quite an, a large investment in this facility, um, Andrew. Um, how important is it that corporate entities like Tradewind Citrus continue to make such investments in Jamaica's? Well, I think, I think as you heard the Prime Minister say today, once the, once the economic um, indices are, are great for investing, like interest rates, the, the dollar, the stability of it, you, and, the, and, the predict, and the predictability of the future, you will have the private sector investing. And the, this investment was a natural for trade wins. Interest rates are the lowest they've ever been. Inflation is the lowest. Purchasing power of consumers is going up. And what Peter was saying about these products displacing some imported products is correct because the more you have local production, you save on the import duties. Customers will buy the products. So it's a it's a win-win, I think, for Jamaica, for trade wins, and for the consumers. All right, Marsha, so it's the newest facility here at uh, Trade Wind Citrus. Talk to me about some of the work that really went into this facility here. You see, as Mr. McConnell said earlier in his speech, it's been years of planning. You know, we started in 2014 with the 200 ml Tetra, and now three years later, we are now opening our newest production facility that can now also make 500 ml and one liter. So we're really excited. It's been a lot of work. I mean, I think a lot of the work is one, getting the equipment and facility together, but even outside of that is also actually getting the product on shelf. Because, you know, once you make it, then we have to distribute it, we have to market it, and we have to sell it. And that's also some of the work that maybe we've not talked a lot about today, but that's a lot of the work that's gone on. And actually, I think the very exciting part of the work, actually. So when you actually consumers buying the product and you see your sales coming in and people asking you about it and being aware of it, for me, that's the exciting part. But then, head of marketing, that's what's so exciting about that. So we're very happy that we could have everyone here with us today at the facility and just share with us in this celebratory moment. An investment of $1.25 billion on, in this facility here, that's not a small fleet. What can we expect uh, down the line in the near term from uh, Tradewind Citrus? So, you know, as the, the Prime Minister said in his speech, also it's around ex, ex, the, the, the expansion for growth. And for trade wins, we're always innovating. If you notice, you always see new flavors on the shelf, new packaging. So in the next couple of months, actually, we've started with eight flavors for 500 ml and one liter and Tetra Pak two juice. We're also in the very short term coming out with another six flavors that are being demanded. People are asking us about them. And we know they're also quite popular flavors that Jamaicans and Caribbean people love. So we always focus on flavors that we know are quite um, to the liking of our Jamaican population first. And we know if they love it, then we can export it because brand Jamaica is easy to export. And True Juice being a brand of Jamaica, then that will help us to export that as well. But we're very focused on producing locally and satisfying the market locally so that our consumers can be happy and know that I can always go to my favorite supermarket and get True Juice on the shelf.
for some time, your colleague Mitri Siaga has uh, been going around trying to tell people that manufacturing is in fact alive and well in Jamaica. Um, how important is it that people see things like this happening at a time like this? I think it's very important and um, that's, that's the only way we're going to grow as a country is if we start to produce more things locally, things that we, we consume both in terms of food, drink and items that we use. So you, you know, starting locally with something small and turning it into something that the consumer can buy, that's how you create value. Rather than importing something that's already made, um, there's no value created locally. So yes, it's very important that um, more people see what we've done here and hopefully it encourage them to do likewise. Tradewind Citrus so far has been very creative in terms of its packaging and in terms of its, its markets and getting the products on, on shelves out there. What can we expect in the near term uh, from Tradewind Citrus? Well, the first step we want to do is to convince consumers that the true juice they know and love on the refrigerated shelf, what we've now put on the non-refrigerated shelf is the same quality juice and they, they can rely on that. So that's hurdle number one is to convince everybody it's the same thing. Then the other thing that we will be coming with is um, dairy products in the same packaging, long life dairy products. The other things I'm not prepared to tell you today. <laughs> All right, talk to me about the significance of this facility um, being built right now. Well, it just gives us huge versatility as a, as a company. You know, uh, True Juice was built on, on quality, consistent quality, but our, our what held us back was short shelf life um, and, and packaging. We've improved the packaging where we, we can sit on a shelf beside any um, you know, international brand. Our, our look and taste is there, but the handicap was 30 day shelf life on the fridge. Now we have seven month shelf life. We don't need to be on the fridge. We're not using preservatives and the taste is just as good. So that's the significance to us is that it's given us huge versatility where we can now go into every nook and cranny across Jamaica in stores that never had fridges or only had limited fridge, um, shelf space, fridge space, we now can pretty much go anywhere. That's it from us here at the Trade Wind Citrus Limited for the official opening and tour of the newest True Juice production facility. I'm your host, Andrew Ladley, and thanks for tuning in to Business Access TV, serious about business.